It is going to heat up again today with highs back in the 90s and it looks like the gusty southwest wind will be noticeable once again, kind of stirring things up and then some scattered storms will fire up late in the day. Most of them will develop overnight and I'll get to that in just a moment. But right now you can see very few clouds around Osceola. We're starting off at 71 degrees, the so dew points in the 60s and the winds are out of the south at around 10 miles per hour. It's definitely warm across the state. We have 70s to the north and close to 70 degrees across the southern border. Now this afternoon will be above average. We made it at to 92 yesterday. Today will be in the lower 90s. And then tomorrow, this brief cool down with highs close to 80 degrees in the afternoon. A little bit warmer to the north and west on Friday afternoon, but beautiful elsewhere. Now today, the winds will be strong, but not as strong as yesterday. Our strongest wind gusts will occur right around 3 o'clock with gusts close to 30 miles per hour, and then the winds will die back down tonight. We do have some scattered rain showers along that Iowa-Minnesota border with some thunder and lightning popping up over southern Minnesota. That's where the strongest storms are located right now. This is actually where we have a cold front, and that will be pushing through. Once it does, it could trigger some isolated strong thunderstorms, especially in the areas shaded in yellow which includes around Algona, Fort Dodge, Humboldt, Mason City, Hampton community. And this is definitely where we have most of the ingredients for large hail and even some damaging winds and potentially some pockets of heavy rainfall. Nothing at four o'clock, but close to seven, eight o'clock, that front starts to move in. And that's what will trigger these scattered showers and thunderstorms. And by 10 o'clock tonight, We'll see more redevelop along the western border of the state with scattered showers and thunderstorms moving through before 10 a.m. on Friday. After that, it looks beautiful. Some sunshine with highs in the 80s. It will be great at the Yankee Doodle Pops Friday night. And then most of your Saturday, we'll see more clouds and it will start to warm back up. The instability will grow as well. There is a chance of some scattered showers and thunderstorms closer to Clear Lake, again, along the Iowa-Minnesota border. And then central Iowa should miss out on that rainfall most of Saturday, but we do have increased chances now on the 4th. Uh, Sunday does not look bad. It will definitely be warmer, but by the 4th of July, we'll continue to see scattered showers and thunderstorms move through the state, and that's really when our best chance for measurable rain exists over the weekend. 93 today, again, starting off sunny, finishing with more clouds, and then tonight temperatures will fall to around 68 with just a few storms developing overnight. Tomorrow after afternoon 83 again we start off with some spotty showers before 10 a.m after that mm -mm -mm, it looks great on saturday partly sunny 86 on sunday 89 the 4th of july is looking wet at times definitely not a picture perfect day for boating but not a complete washout just yet more chances for showers and thunderstorms exist tuesday into wednesday and this is what i call an unsettled weather pattern as the heat starts to go up we do see better chances for some thunderstorms the best chance next week will be in the overnight hours today's weather rating it's the same as yesterday. It gets another seven. We're going to finish the month of June with highs back in the 90s, and this will make it our 10th day. Wow. It's We've had some heat, but mm -hmm. it's been a good month. Yeah, I agree.